Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 quick and easy fall Dollar Tree DIYs that you can make in about five minutes or less. I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, share it with your friends, and let's go ahead and get started with these easy fall DIYs. For this DIY, you're going to want this Halloween uh, pumpkin. If you find other ones, that's totally fine, but you'll want the one that has the tinsel on it, and you're going to cut the tinsel off. Just make sure that you don't cut any of the plastic underneath because you're going to want that to show for the pumpkin design. Next, I took this Dollar Tree crate. You could also use Jenga blocks for this, and I just went ahead and snipped off the ends, and I'm actually going to glue these two pieces together to create a stand for the pumpkin. Now I'm using the Rust-Oleum Hammered Spray Paint and I'm going to cover the entire surface of the pumpkin with this and you'll want to let this air dry. Next I went ahead and took some scrap material. I took some burlap, some of this orange fabric, and then this other Dollar Tree twine um, and ribbon that they have and I went ahead and just looped that around, twisted it since it's a wired ribbon, and then I'm going to attach that to the top of the pumpkin. Really basic and simple, but I like the colors together. You can glue it, but I tied mine on. Now you could leave it just like this, um, but I decided to add a little bat and glue that on that Dollar Tree carries in a multi-pack, and I thought it just kind of made it a little bit more on the Halloween side, but could go either way. It's totally up to you what you want to do. For this DIY, I'm going to be using one of the velvet pumpkins, and you're just going to remove the top stem and then just give a little snip to the material and it will pop right out. The shape on this pumpkin is wonderful. I love all the grooves in it and everything. So now I'm going to take that black rope that Dollar Tree carries. You can use whatever you want. You could also use yarn for this or scrap material. And I'm just going to glue this all the way around the pumpkin in the grooves. You're going to snip off the end, glue that in, and then go ahead and add the stem in there by gluing that down. And then I'm going to take these leaves. Um, Dollar Tree does carry leaves, but I found these in the Target Dollar section. I thought they looked really cool because I like the little burnt leaf stem inside of it. And I thought this looked really cute with the pumpkin we just made. Now, I bought this hat back in the summertime, and they probably still have them, but I thought this would be such a cute DIY. So I went ahead and removed the cap part of the straw hat, and then removed that um, ribbon off of it. And then you're going to actually put the foam pumpkin on the inside of this. I just, I thought, oh my goodness, I saw this in my stash, and I told my husband, I was like, look, I'm going to turn this into a pumpkin. And he's like, what? What are you talking about? And I was like, just wait and see. So you're going to glue the pumpkin to the bottom of the um, hat, that way it doesn't move, and then you're going to start adding some glue into the grooves, and you're going to start pushing it in. This fit perfectly for me. The size of the hat with this pumpkin, I could not be a better fit. So I'm just gluing that in, and then once I make a little um, lap um, of the material, you're going to glue that down. That way you're creating that um, like lip almost, and so it's going to look really natural looking, and it's going to look like what you can find at Target for about $10, and this cost us $2. So it works really, really well. I just went ahead and just kept overlapping the edges, and it looks really, really good when it all comes together. It's super simple. Don't be intimidated by this. You're basically gluing and pressing it down. When I got to almost the very last part, I had a little bit extra too much material, so I just went ahead and cut that out, and then I folded that over, that way it wouldn't unravel or anything, and again, I'm just tucking that in and gluing that down, 
and you can see the shape of the pumpkin it looks really really good and any leftover on the top part I just went ahead and pushed that to the inside of the pumpkin and anything that maybe I didn't glue down enough I just went ahead and reinforced that with some hot glue and then when you get to the very end you're going to add that stem back in and of course glue it in and you're done So this pumpkin is going to take the shape of another one that is inspired by Target's new uh, pumpkin decor. So with this, I just went ahead and pulled the wire out and I liked how curved it was already. It was perfectly rounded and so you could just leave it like this and make it extremely easy on yourself. Leave a little extra at the top for the pumpkin stem and glue all the middle pieces together and you're done. You could paint it, leave it like that, but I wanted it to look like a true pumpkin form, um, not necessarily with all the swirls going all the way throughout. So I just snipped off the bottom pieces and then I also did the same to the top. And then I took a little round coin about the size of a nickel. It was just a little wood piece from one of my kids' crafts. And so I just took that, added hot glue, and I started layering on the pieces. And the best part about this is that you can change the way the wire shape is later on. So we're just getting the base of it on. You're gonna add more hot glue on top of all those wires and then take another little coin and put that on top. That way it holds it down and it also gives a nice base for our pumpkin to kind of stand up on. And then once you have that and let that dry, then you're gonna start moving the stems and manipulating them in the shape that you want. And there's some that are a little bit too long, just snip them off, no biggie at all. And then you're going to let that um, kind of fuse and then shape it. And then you're going to take it outside and spray it whatever color you want. I like this metallic gold spray paint. I get this from Lowe's all the time. And this is how it turned out. And I think it's so cute. Such a good high-end dupe. So I showed you a couple supplies that you're going to need for a few of the DIYs. So the first one here, I am using a... Uh, cut out from one of the calendars that Dollar Tree carries. They have some really good calendars this year for prints. It's basically wonderful scrap paper for about, I don't know, 10 cents a piece <laughs> or less than that, I guess. Um, but I'm just went ahead and traced that out onto it and then I'm going to cut this out. Now, this pumpkin I am using is a little bit larger than the paper and that's okay. We're going to fix that. But if you wanted to leave it naturally, you totally could. So I just took some regular glue. You can use Mod Podge. Spread that all over or spread spray adhesive and then you're going to rub your um, uh, paper onto it and you can see here on the sides that you can still see the woods. I just went ahead and took some ribbon from Dollar Tree that I had. I thought about doing black rope but for some reason I stuck with this and I do like the look of it but I think the black rope would have been a little bit sleeker looking especially with the sunflowers. I just love the uh, flowers on this. I'm obsessed with flowers anyways but I thought this was just perfect and I went ahead and just removed that silver leaf on the other side and glued that down to the front and you can see I wrapped the stem and the ribbon as well. Add a little bit more hot glue and then used um, some straw and then um, glued that on and then for the base I just put two boards together and I'm going to glue that down but the ridge wasn't big enough so I had to use some popsicle sticks to bump it up a little bit and then I painted them black and this is the way it turned out. I really like it. There's a couple ripples in the paper because it's kind of thin but overall I think it's really cute and there was no painting involved. For the next pumpkin, we're going to be using the smaller pumpkin shape that they carry. And I'm going to again trace this out. This paper came from Joann's. It was 25 cents during their sale. And once I get the shape, then I'm going to take some glue, spread that out, basically just like Mod Podge. Use spray adhesive, whatever you want. It does help if you get the paper slightly wet um, or damp so it doesn't ripple. But I was afraid to do that with a really thin calendar paper because it's way different paper. Um, go ahead and put that on. And then you have a double-sided pumpkin at this point. If you you wanted to leave it. I decided to take um, some wired ribbon in the um, buffalo check print and then put that little straw that was on the other side and use the popsicle sticks for the stand which worked really good. I just double layered it. So you can see how cute they look together and then my mind kind of got it going and I thought I'm going to make it even bigger. So since both the signs are double-sided I'm going to be using that to our advantage. So this little sign came 
came from this sign, which I made in a couple videos back, so I'll leave that link down below. It's basically a loose part that blows with the wind. So I traced it out with some material that I liked. And again, this material came from Joann's. I just try to use whatever I have on hand. I went ahead and glued that down. And these um, shapes and words came from Target dollar section. They're a dollar for all the uh, words, which is great. They give you all the different colors you could choose from. And they stick on, so you don't even have to glue them if you don't want to. They are a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You could use one of the metal words um, from Dollar Tree as well if you want it to be larger. But I like the way this looked. So I went ahead and glued this to the front or on top of the other signs. We have grateful, thankful, and blessed. And then I took off the little base um, of the popsicle sticks and glued that to the back of the uh, checkered sign and this is the way it came out so now we have a almost a three foot sign that is perfect for the front porch or something I love the way it looks it's so cute and you can always have it double sided so it's reversible okay this DIY is so adorable I'm obsessed with it it's so easy you guys you're gonna take this kitchen towel you can use any type of kitchen towel or napkin or something like that that you find at the stores and you can turn it into a pillow that's right this isn't the first time i've done this here on my channel so i went ahead and just cut off the tag i see how i lift the bottom so that way we kind of match the top a bit more and then i'm creating an inner seam here and just with my hot glue you don't have to have a sewing machine for this you can totally sew it if you want to you would just flip it inside out um, and then once i get that kind of pretty much glued down on the two sides because i went ahead and stuck on these little um cute little pom-poms that Dollar Tree is carrying which is awesome because I was buying mine at Hobby Lobby for about a dollar fifty two bucks at most um, and Dollar Tree carries them now so I'm super excited about that so I went ahead and just staggered those about I don't know half an inch apart I filled the pillow and then I got a lock in all that pillow form and then I am going to just apply more of those pom-poms on the other side now you could take this over to the top of it but I thought it was adorable just being on the sides and it turned out so cute I love it okay so for this I just used a scrap piece of cardboard but I would definitely recommend using a piece of wood it was just happened to be the right size for me and my piece of material I have this leftover material from my pillows that I used in my fall entryway makeover video and I love it so much it's just like a rusty brown color uh, with a little bit more orange to it but it's not super bright so I just went ahead and glued that all the way around my um, board basically and then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to decorate the front side of it you can do this with scrap paper you don't have to use material I'm just trying to show you what you can use with things that you happen to have on hand so I'm going to use one of these um, wooden um, garland pieces that Dollar Tree carries um, in the pumpkin shape they have leaves and owls I think um, and then I'm going to use these stick-on wood adhesive shapes again from Target dollar section because they're only a dollar for all of them it's such a good deal um, and I'm just gonna stick on the leaves. I really thought that it was really pretty like that nice woody like natural wood tones And then I'm gonna use one of the words and put thankful on it now You can do this in a bigger version. This sign is about 12 inches by 5 inches. So it's not massive But I still think it's a really cute accent piece So I went ahead and just took some of the Dollar Tree Bingham check ribbon that's wired and I went ahead and glued that onto the ends and I really like just the detail because again, I don't have to paint anything. I can just use the material. And this is the way the sign came out. I took, stuck some Jenga blocks in the back to let it stand up and it's super cute and easy. So I hope you all enjoyed these easy and quick fall Dollar Tree DIYs. Let me know which one was your favorite. And also if you're done, if you're done decorating or not, I know it's not officially fall to like the 20th or the 21st, but you know, we all get started a little bit earlier here on YouTube and it's always fun to get lots of ideas out there and inspire you guys. So uh, let me know what you guys are up to and everything. And if you have any certain fall traditions that you like to do with your family, let me know that as well. I'd love to hear them and maybe do them with my family. So until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Give this video a big thumbs up share with your friends and I'll see you soon.